No selling is a trope that shows just how wacky wrestling can get. <laughs> For this video, we'll be looking at those who frequently no sold offense in the ring, but rather than wrestlers who poorly sold a certain spot over the course of a match, we're highlighting those immediate, in the moment, no sells in American wrestling that fans either loved or hated. And he has him down! Oh. Yes, he does! Look at that chair! Today we list the top 10 wrestlers who no sold their opponents. An honorable mention goes to the legendary luchador, Mil Mascaras. It was once said that it was a good thing Mascaras sold tickets because he never sold anything else. Jack could be setting him up for that big elbow. Nice. We've seen him do it before, the elbow right off the apron of the ring. He's setting him up for it, but Mascaras doesn't look stunned. We'll also give a nod to Bruiser Brody, who was notorious for not wanting to do jobs. And this too played into how he reacted to opponent's offense. Brody was adamant about not looking weak so as to protect his aura as an unbeatable monster. <laughs> Number 10, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar has often been commended for his tremendous ability to sell other wrestlers' offense, but it was also fun to see the beast completely shrug off what his opponents throw at him. This was less common in Brock's first run with WWE. It became more frequent, however, after Lesnar conquered the UFC. This made sense since wrestlers were now going to have an even tougher time taking Brock down following his success in MMA. Just relentless. Yeah, look at Brock though. Knees stunned again like running into a wall. Look at this. Lesnar's cheek and eye starting to swell up. Reigns now wow. with a big clothesline. Lesnar's still on his feet. And again still on his feet. He got it for the title. And Lesnar takes out. Not even a two count. Hey. And he needs to steal the victory here in a kick out by a Can he do it? No, he can't. Oh. Lands on his feet and he connects with a kick. Unless he didn't go down. Wow. Number nine, Goldberg. On top of being a freak hybrid athlete, Goldberg's unstoppable booking in WCW made fans believe he was impervious to pain. The way he smashed his head against steel doors before matches was proof of this. That's the ritual we put <laughs> Was a right cross. He's standing. He's alive. It's all he's seen to help stay. That did not work. Goldberg is in his biggest test today. He pops oh. back up. Clark can't eat your heart out. Sting spears Goldberg, and he got up. Oh, oh, a super oh, kick! Oh my God! Oh, my God. Oh, hook of the leg and a kick out at one. Oh, that's the newest member of Ravens flock. We saw him last night in Spring Stampede. Yes. Oh, he did. Is that great or what? Yeah, who doesn't need him? Nobody's ever gotten out of this. Oh, he, he goes, goes down. He goes down. Just thinking he won it. It's not over yet. Taking the Undertaker's arrest in peace. Oh. Undertaker with a right on the jaw. And Goldberg with a spear. He delivers a triple. German suplex. But from the oh. Goldberg was so famous for no-selling that when he actually sold during his match with DDP at Halloween Havoc, it shocked everyone. Can he get it? However, Goldberg was actually hurt for real on this occasion after concussing himself with a spear. Number eight, Kane. The big red machine resembled a horror movie villain that couldn't be destroyed. Yeah, and a chair shot. Oh my God. Oh man. Jer Jared just hit Kane. With Kane didn't move. After all the stuff Kane had been through in his life, it seemed impossible to hurt him anymore. The Undertaker hitting Kane with all he's got, and Kane still will not go down. Plant right to Spencer. It's David Richards trying the Steven kick. It didn't even knock Kane down. This made it all the more believable when he no sold. Then, just when wrestlers thought they'd got him, Kane would sit up. The biggest no sold in the business. <laughs> I can't believe that Kane's been. Oh, oh my God. Christian the Undertaker coming at it inside the ring. Hey, what is it? Christian and a Kane. No. Kane. Kane through a table outside the ring. And he set back up. <laughs> Number 7, Ultimate Warrior. No selling was a key part of the Warrior's character, especially when he would shake the ropes. But oh, wait a minute, you can feel it now, Hot Rod! It's burning! The intensity of the Warrior! Somehow, the Ultimate Warrior picking up, just moving 
world to go, but feel the electricity. Look at him go, he seems to be impervious to pain. This gave the warrior his powers while the subsequent reaction from the fans gave him his energy, all of which built to the big finish. The warrior saved his most egregious no cells for WrestleMania. Goes the warrior and a scoop slam. Coming right about. Yeah! It's over! <laughs> no, it's not! Warrior once kicked out of five Macho Man elbow drops. He's on his feet after five elbows off the top of Number six, Taz. As a no nonsense straight shooter, Taz quite literally said F you to his opponent's moves. What a power by the challenger! Taz is up! Taz is up! This version of the character came about after Taz broke his neck in 1995. Just too strong. Powerbomb with authority. Taz is back up. Now it's the tumbleweed. Now Taz is up. He became an angry man that said F the world while not taking any crap from whomever he shared the ring with. And Lawler, the master of the, the pile driver, looking for it. And Taz just got pile driven and he's right back up. And he just got Taz. All the pile driven and my God, Taz. Taz's oh, yeah. no selling was later passed down to his son Hook in All Elite Wrestling. Number five, Road Warriors. The Road Warriors were renowned no sellers who made not registering offense a key part of their act. They had this aura about them that you know that they were invincible. Oh my goodness! Sometimes my job, I don't know. Whoa! Hey, he hooked him right up! Especially Hawk, who seemed to be immune to pile drivers amongst other moves. Ooh, what a blow! Didn't seem to even phase him! Oh, oh, and look out the pile driver! And, uh-uh, that's not gonna affect that heavily thick muscle! No, no! King! And the pile oh. driver! On Hawk! And Hawk! Oh, no! Pick up! Hulk, that don't fade Hulk. No, no, that neck. Exactly. This is what it's all about. It's Look a at Chicago this. street fight. Ming is no Cub Scout, pal. Oh, oh man! Oh, Look at that. Oh, yeah! Hulk's double finisher, No Cell vs. RVD and Kane on Raw in 2003 was said to have cost the Road Warriors future bookings in WWE at the time. Hawk would pass only a few months later, meaning the duo never got a definitive final run as a team. Number 4, Samoan Wrestlers. Samoan Wrestlers are famous for their hard heads that have allowed them to brush off more attacks than most. Well to be seeing action next, oh, next February, and look at the hard head of Rakishi. He didn't even feel the DDT. And there's that turnbuckle power bomb. Superman punch! Wow. No, what? Get out of the ring. Flying hit! An unwritten rule of wrestling is that you should never headbutt a Samoan, as their skulls were said to be much denser, making head attacks against them useless. And it's not gonna work either. Oh, this might. Yoko Zuna taking control. Oh. This head trigger showing you at times that they are impervious to pain. Rakishi from the bloody head. Oh. The Undertaker. We just got knocked down. Tough ball game. Rakishi's head. Obviously harder than the Undertaker. You got that right. That's not a smart move there, Undertaker. It's the one man rock band. See there? Now there's the mistake. You can't headbutt a Samoan. <laughs> Samoans are known historically as oh. very hard cranium. The crafty road dog. That's what I'm preaching. <laughs> crafty. <laughs> Grayson Waller of late has been on a string of oh, that wasn't smart. The only wins he's seen recently. Although not a Samoan, Tongan wrestler Meng is considered one of the toughest men in the history of the business. And this was reflected in how he was portrayed on screen. It's like hitting a brick wall. And Duggan, the big headbutt maybe. Yes, 
Wrong maneuver. Wait a minute. Ah! Oh my God! Run for oh, your life. life! Jimmy Hart's got a chair. Wrong head, wrong chair. Oh, How about Jimmy. that? He wants no soul being sprayed by mace, something that was alleged to have happened in real life during a scuffle with police. Oh, they've got mace! They're almost challenging him, they spray it in his eyes! He uses that for deodorant! Number three, The Undertaker. In the early part of his career, Taker's no selling added to the mystique of his gimmick as an undead wrestler. Bam Bam's not backing off, is he? Yes, he was! And a right hand by Bam Bam! And another one! As his career progressed, the dead man maintained numerous supernatural elements that first debuted with the original character. Such as when the Phenom would shake off moves and attacks by sitting up. Undertaker! Yes! Drive down to the concrete. He's out this time, McMahon. Look, he's getting up. No, he's getting up. He come down to the carcass of the Undertaker. No. Oh! What? I. Oh! Hey! And that could do it. That could. Oh! That, it may be not. A trope borrowed from the Sasha movie villains like Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers. And out somehow, we're gonna put the Undertaker away! Oh! Undertaker sets up! A book of proof! Oh! Man! With his obsession! Oh no! Oh my god! Puck with a vice locked in. Here's a two count. And Undertaker has the power up in two. Look at this! Get through the table last week. Cover! Undertaker sits up! for a cover here. WCW, Sting possessed a special power that allowed him to absorb damage without being affected. He would simply flex, beat his chest, and brush it off. Now he's going to try and get him in the pile driver. And he got him in. Oh, my. This world title belt. You're not kidding. He's up. Oh, he realizes it now. Look at Elizabeth. Yes. The WCW franchise player who gets up. No effect on that vertical super takeover by Hogan. Wait a minute. Jared. Jared got to get oh, It's Sting. got it. It didn't matter if he'd receive a suplex or chops from Ric Flair. There was no stopping the stinger. I, I don't know, but it looks like to me. Our camera's taking you right in there. You gotta thank people around the country are flinching. 
and Sting walks right across. In one championship, I promise you that. Well, look, at Rick, this. Rick. look at this. Look at this. The month that Sting spit, the human spirit that drives us man. Sting's no-selling didn't just work back in the day, it proved to be a hit with fans in multiple eras, proving that no-selling of this nature can still prove effective if used in the correct circumstances with the right character. Not Sting! Oh, I'm through the table by two oh, 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 Sting's back up! Sting's back up! We hit, and Isaiah! Oh, oh the Stinger! Supercar! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> oh, come on now. Look at this. Wait a minute. What? 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 No. Well, like, what? Why twist the nipples of Steve? Number one, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan made a career out of no selling his opponents. First, we'll look at how the Hulkster would pop straight back up after being hit with big moves and not show any sign of damage. Bundy, if he hits him with a Come on! Man, he got it again. Oh! Get the WWF Championship! Oh, yes! But he is wasting... Oh! Look at that! Oh, my God! Look at this! He could have pinned it! No! Then there was the Hulk up, the iconic tourn where Hogan channeled the spirit of Hulkamania. I cannot leap! Nobody's ever gotten up from that house! The Hulkster is hooked up! More of Hulkamania, can you feel it? Don't let the United States of America goodbye to Yokozuna, Hogan. Now this is where Hulk Hogan excels. And Flair crashing in! Hogan mounting his legendary comeback! Well, that tip may be working now, but for that, the people behind him inadvertently has given second life to Hulkamania. The crowd were at fever pitch as Hulk built to his big boot and leg drop combination, feeding off the noise and running wild. Now if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our similar video on the top 10 oversellers in wrestling history. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.